Radio Rahim here with Justin Juko, the Ugandan destroyer. You have been in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. You've been in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. You've helped train Manny. You fought Floyd. You are one of the very, very few people in the world that can say that. I would love to know your opinion on this fight. Give me an overview first, and then we'll get into the details. Well, the thing is, uh, you know, I've been fortunate, one of the fortunate guys, to have been in the ring with uh, the two uh, you know, two top class fighters in the world of their generation. Uh, I fought Floyd Mayweather uh, for the title, WBC Super Fighter title, uh, some years back. And uh, I sparred with Manny Pacquiao. He was my gym mate, so I sparred with him, uh, preparing him to fight uh, Eric Morales. So I had many rounds with him too. So I got some little insight on, 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 on both of the guys. So. All right, well, let's start with Floyd, since that was the one you've been in as an opponent. You know, um, obviously it was a title fight, so it was huge stakes. It wasn't like you guys were amateurs or anything. So your experience with Floyd, how do you think he matches up? What are his strengths and weaknesses against Manny Pacquiao? Well, the thing with Floyd, uh, uh, when I fought him, it was a different uh, different thing, different weight and stuff. And uh, uh, it was a no no so short notice thing. But I was training and stuff, and I did what I did. But uh, the thing with Floyd, Floyd hasn't changed much when he was fighting as a super featherweight and now. The only change he's got is he has put on more weight, and he has, has, uh, he has fought uh, bigger guys, and uh, maybe he has slowed down a little bit. But the thing is, technically, he's, he's actually the most technical fighter today, and I think uh, that that's his biggest edge right now. You know, we've seen Floyd in there. He's been training with a lot more uh, attention to power. He's been chopping wood, and swimming, these things we haven't seen from him before. Uh, he did a media workout yesterday, and we saw him doing some circuit training, uh, hitting the body shield and with a lot more power, a lot of more body shots on the bag. Uh, do you think that that serves him well for this fight? I think for me, uh, I think... Uh uh, w whatever he does right now, uh, he just adds on to what he has already. But I think in a fight like this, uh, Floyd's biggest asset will always be technical. You know, because he's a fighter who can just do things that nobody can do. Uh, as far as putting on more power and stuff, it's, I don't think he should put in anything much. Obviously, uh, I believe he has enough power. He's a Walter weight, you know, and he has been with big guys. Uh, because now, when you when you, you you spend your time putting on more power, you might you might lose speed. You see, that's that may problem. You don't need to lose your speed in in, in uh, uh, lose lose the speed getting power. Because now with this fight, like a, like a guy like Manny Pacquiao, he, he actually has more speed. Pacquiao is, is strong, but he's more his 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 power. Is his, is his speed. He doesn't throw three, two, three punches, no. So that's why you don't see him doing weights and stuff. He's more speed. So he's, my, uh, 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 Floyd's power is his speed too. So, but when you look into chopping and all that, that might bulk you up. But really, uh, I don't think we can get more power when we're like 38. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think his, his, his best thing is to keep his speed, uh, Control that pace like he does. Be the professional he is, rather than do more stuff. Because when you're 30 years old, you really don't need much. You might sometimes might even overdo it, and and in a fight, it can affect you. So he doesn't need that. Well, how would overdoing it affect you in the fight? And what? How do you determine if you've overdone it? Well, the thing is, uh, uh, you know, as as, uh, as fighters age, like anybody, you know, like anybody, when you age, you can because I don't think Floyd has the same like uh, speed like he used to have when I fought him. When I fought him was very fast on the legs, on the, on the, with the hands and everything, head. But now as, as, as he grew and he put on more weight, so you cannot have the same speed. When you, when you are 130 and now you're 147, you have the same speed. But the thing is sharpness, see? Mm. So the sharpness can stay the same. Uh, you, you, can, you don't need to throw more punches because now uh, Floyd, he does not throw many punches, but he's very, very sharp. So if Floyd throws like four punches, three of them are going to land. 
So that's like 90% of landing, 80% landing. So that's all you need. So, but, but when you say, oh, I'm going to have power, 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 people don't know power, you know. Either you can punch or you don't need, or you, or you can punch. But the things with Floyd, he's fast, he's technical, he's sharp. So if a guy's like that, he doesn't need like the so-called punching power, you know. Punching power, some guys are like, oh, you throw one punch and that's it. But Floyd is sharp, he's technical, he's like a sharpshooter. You know, he can hurt you, you know, he's, you know, he's knocked out people, but he does not really need to, to, to add power like, like people think. No, he just needs to be Floyd, the original, the old school fighter, and does his thing, that's it. Well, if Floyd is a sharpshooter, a sniper, if you will, then Manny yeah. Pacquiao's got to yeah. be a machine gunner yeah. uh, or a Gatling uh, gun, yeah. right? So, when, like they say, the cliche goes, styles make fights. Yeah, yeah. So, when you look at Manny Pacquiao, you've been in the ring with him sparring. Obviously, you're still around him. You're in the gym still. Do you think that his speed, that you feel he has more speed, but also maybe he's less technical but more aggressive how do you think that matches up against Floyd? What are his strengths and weaknesses in this fight? You think the thing with, with money, you see, you have, you have to understand now, uh, everybody has their own, own way of, of boxing. See, nobody fights the same. The thing is to take advantage of whatever you have. Uh, like I said before, Floyd is a sharp shooter, a sharp, you know, sharp, sharp shooter, technical sharp shooter. He does not waste anything. You know, whatever punch Floyd throws is calculated. <laughs> you know, that's why you never see him being too busy because, uh, you see, he has a lot of experience, less, like in amateurs. He went over to the Olympics. So that's when you reach that level, you know how to score fights. People don't, don't, don't get into that. Mm -hmm. But Floyd, has, he knows that. He knows that I can, I can throw 40 punches and if 35 lands, that's a big score as long as they're clean. But the thing with money, money has a totally different way of boxing. Totally different. Him, he relies more on volume punching. You know, volume punching, he keeps throwing punches. He's, he's in good condition, so he keeps throwing punches. He can throw, let's say, uh, 10 shots or 15. So with him, he, he, if he lands uh, even 40%, as long as he keeps throwing, it's dangerous because one of them is going to be landing as long as it throws. Uh, and and uh, to me, uh, this, is, this is going to be a very exciting fight because you're putting up two people who have two different ways of boxing. One guy is a sharp shooter. He, he has to keep the pace, where if you keep the pace, you have control how things move. But then you've got another guy, uh, uh, Mane Pacquiao. He, for him, he don't care. He just throws. Mm -hmm. So th that's that's the fireworks there. That's why this fight is causing a lot of uh, hype, a lot of tension, because they're like, how will it, uh, how will it uh, come out? You know, that's that's how I see it. Now you were a world class fighter yourself. If you had the choice in your prime to fight Floyd or to fight fight Manny, who would you want to fight? Uh, well, for me, you see, uh, you see, uh, for me, uh, I I was people people were most mistaken with me. Uh, they they took much into my power. I was a you know strong guy. I knocked out other people, but but I was very technical because I was from that school, old school of Eddie Fudge, Freddie Roach. So I used to set up things. Then when I knocked the people, they said, "Oh, this kid is strong," but they didn't know that I, I used to set up those those you know knockout punches. But but to me, uh, I think I would I'd favor fighting Floyd because. For me, uh, as a fighter, I was very technical. Mm -hmm. The only thing I never, they never, you know, give, give me enough time to prepare, but I was more technical. But people were mistaken with my power, but I was very technical. I had actually one of the best jobs you can, you can go look and ask. One of the best jobs in the business. I could touch you here, like the old, old school guys. That's why with my fight with Floyd was, uh, what was, you know, it was, it was a uh, like quick fight, but, it was good for the people, fun to watch. But the thing with, with Mane, uh, you, he's a Southpaw, and I believe Mane's biggest asset, what people don't, don't really uh, put, it, put, put, put into perspective, is Mane's style is the problem. Mane is awkward, you see? If you ask any, any pro top class fighter, 
you never want to fight an awkward fighter. See? Because awkward fighter is the kind of guy who throws stuff from nowhere. You know, he can be standing on left and then he shoots with an uppercut on the right. Those kinds of fights, fighters are not good to fight. They give you problems. And I think that's why this fight is, going, is you know, is, is, uh, is causing a lot of hype and stuff because they're like, nobody knows really, for sure. You know, how is he going to go? Because before, you could see guys like uh, uh, Miguel Cotto, Shane Mose, those are top class. But always you you have people say, oh, I mean, I mean uh, uh, Floyd will be like well, five to one, six to one, stuff like that. You know, right. but but with this, it's, it's, it's tight because you know you have the edge for Floyd. You have to give that to Floyd because he's unbeaten. Forty-seven fights, not easy to <laughs> not to have lost. No matter no matter who you say, uh, and uh, this, it's been like sixteen years. You know, it's a long time, and at that at that level. But then because money money the way he fights, you know. You have to be in tip-top shape, which I believe Floyd is, but I, I believe it's going to depend on who sets the pace, you know? Because of different way of boxing, uh, Floyd fights better when he's, he's in control. It's like driving the car. You can change gears. You can put it up. You can get number three, number two. You can speed up. You can. So Floyd, that's where he's at his best, and I believe... He will do his best to try and control that pace because if he cannot control money, he's go, he's gonna have a big big problem. So I've got to put you on the spot. Yeah. You're friends with both, obviously, yeah, for years and years and years. So no one can take offense. But yeah. you're down to your last dollar yeah. at a thousand to one. Yeah. Where are you yeah. placing that dollar <laughs> <laughs> on Manny Pacquiao <laughs> or Floyd Mayweather? I tell you, my brother. Uh, you know, me being a technical, me being a technical guy, you know, I would, I would give, I would give Floyd a little edge, but I don't know, I don't know, if because you just told me that, you know, maybe he's gonna try to, he's been putting on, you know, the the power and stuff, so it's gonna depend on the strategy that Floyd, that Floyd, put up if he comes in. Trying to knock out, ch try to change because you can't just change colors, you know. If Floyd just try to come in and 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 uh, do his thing, he will have an edge. But if he's try to say, "Oh, let me let me handle this kid," then the problem will be different. Juco, yeah. where is that dollar going, <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, <laughs> or Floyd to Mayweather? <laughs> to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, right now I'm, I'm a little confused, you know, because when I look at the guys. You know, I think I'm gonna give you time. I think I'll talk to you maybe a week before. I'll run for you. Need another week I need a after week. five years. You yeah. need another week, okay? <laughs> because now many things have been happening. You know, I went, I saw Floyd, he looks, he looks, he looks, he looks like actually, he look, he's training harder than before. Yeah, and money, money, he's you know, he does his thing. You know, he's always have that little smile, the killer you think he's playing around, but he's gonna kill you. So, <laughs> so this one, <laughs> this one. Maybe I check with you on May third, uh, uh, and you'll know uh, uh, <laughs> on check, Sunday. Check, check, check on me on, on May, on May, on May second. Actually, I'll be around. Yeah. Because okay. now I think I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be in Vegas. Maybe next week, check on Floyd again and see how it does. Uh -huh. And I'll, I'll be seeing. I'll, I'll be seeing. Uh, so I gotta two. wait till fight day to yeah, get a prediction yeah, from you. Yeah. All right, because only you can get away with this. I'm gonna let you off the hook. Uh, right? Only you can get away with this. I'm just, I'm gonna tell you, I'm happy that this fight is happening because yeah. everybody's up for this. They've been waiting. And I tell you, one last yeah. thing people have been talking about, oh, it's been, it's like too long, blah, blah. Yes, it's too long. But this one, actually, it's gonna even be more, in, more interesting, more exciting than, the, than before. Mm -hmm. Because now, both guys are older, you see? So when you got old, you, you you lose some weight, you lose some stuff. So now I think either way, both guys are gonna be taking hits. They're gonna be what? T t t taking hits. They're gonna be oh taking shots. Taking They're gonna be getting shot. hit. Taking, you're gonna be getting hit. Floyd is gonna take some punches too. But before it was it was really you know quick and stuff. Hard to hit him like yeah. And, and money is money is the same. You right. Know? So this one, this one is gonna be very exciting. Now is I the cannot time. wait. There's the there can never be a bit of time. That's why I say this fight is like even, you know, 
even mm. anybody can take this. It's going to depend on who sets the pace. I want you to quote me on this. The quote world me. will see it. Yeah, the world is going to quote you. Quote me on this. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the one who set the pace, setting the pace on Floyd comes in, he does his thing, you know, slow you down, control that pace, change gears. Money comes in, he puts up his, his pace because money is a wild one. He just keep punching. Whichever can control that one will win because the level is, is this. That's how I see it. And there you have it yeah. from the Ugandan destroyer, Justin Juko Bumaye. Bumaye. Radio Rahim. Yeah.